Web shop operators no longer have the protection of a Supreme Court injunction and may now be subject to prosecution after Chief Justice Sir Michael Barnett ruled today that police must be allowed to uphold the law. Now the ruling came this morning, two months after a referendum which did not support web gaming and a legal challenge mounted by web shop operators. And as Foreign Carey tells us in this report, today's ruling has by no means ended the face-off. Chief Justice Sir Michael Barnett discharged a conservatory order today. That order by the Chief Justice prevented authorities from taking any action against web shop owners and operators pending the hearing and determination of an application for an injunction or a further order. The Chief Justice also dismissed an application by the web bosses for an injunction against the police. The web bosses were seeking the injunction on the premise that they would become bankrupt if an interim order is not granted. As the police would be able to shut down their entire operations while the matter is being litigated. However, the Chief Justice indicated, among other things, in a written ruling that there is no basis for this fear as the police can only prosecute for breaches of the Lotteries and Gaming Act. The Chief Justice also noted that the public would have suffered irreparable harm by the web shop's operators being allowed to continue and profit from illegal activity. Regarding the web shop operator's legal challenge to certain provisions in the Lotteries and Gaming Act, the Chief Justice noted that it would not be a proper exercise of his judicial discretion to restrain the police from enforcing the law despite the legal challenge. Meantime, Attorney Wayne Munro, who's representing six web shop owners, and Attorney Alfred Says, who's representing Paradise Games Limited, have indicated that they will appeal. As a result, Attorney Lauren Klein, who is appearing on behalf of the Crown, indicated that it is unlikely that police will take any action against web shop operators immediately pending the outcome of that appeal. For Inquiry, Sadness Network News. Well, things seem to be business as usual, despite the injunction being lifted earlier today by Chief Justice Michael Barnett, making way for police to prosecute web shop operations, or web shop operators, that is. Well, there's been no definitive time, though, as to when police will take action. A number of messages were left for Commissioner of Police Alison Greenslade, who had no response or comment up to airtime. <laughs> 